Hi, and Happy New Year. It is now 2014, and uh, I wanted to talk to you today about the weather. Sometimes we have absolutely beautiful weather here in Hemet, and today is another one of those gorgeous days. We've got the sun shining, no rain in sight, and yet I got to tell you, if we go all year without any rain, no clouds, we will be in trouble. My son was telling me that Lake Hammett is half empty now, and we are desperately in need of rain. I mean, lots of long, good, steady rains. And the trouble with rain is it requires clouds, and clouds blocks out the sun, and most of us don't like the days when it's overcast or it's raining. But the truth is, without the clouds, we'll never have the rain, and we can't sustain life without the clouds. Another thing is, without clouds, you're not shielded from the burning sun. And you and I know that in the summer in Hemet, it gets hot and it gets tough. And if we don't have clouds in the winter and rain during this short rainy season that we get, then when it comes to the uh, summer, we're going to be in trouble. So we need some rain to come into our life. And the same is true in our life, personal life. When hard times come into our life, we get discouraged. We like it a lot better when everything's going our way every day, all the time. But I want you to remember this. When clouds come into your life and you feel like it's raining on your parade, God is always there behind the clouds. He is still shining. He has a purpose for everything he allows or brings into your life and mine. Longfellow wrote this, he said one time, Be still, sad heart, and cease repining. Behind the clouds is the sun still shining. So as God's people, sometimes we go through cloudy days and rainy days. But remember this, Behold, I come to you in the thick cloud. Each of us experiences those clouds that come into our life. Sometimes they're just little clouds, and sometimes they can be pretty fearful in our life, but whenever you face clouds or rainy days in your life, just remember, ask Jesus Christ, he's the light of the world, to help you to look beyond the clouds and beyond the rain that comes into your life, to see him and his glory and his plans that he has for you. The rains, by the way, always bring the spring flowers and they sustain our life. So I'm grateful for rain. I'm kind of praying for rain, just not too much, okay? God bless you. Have a great day.